Signs of a diseased pancreas, what can be done and what diet to follow. What role is assigned to the pancreas in the body? From what can its work be disturbed? What are the symptoms of pancreatic diseases? How to keep the function of the organ? What should be permanently excluded from the diet? Are there foods that support the health of the pancreas? Watch the video to the end. We will tell you about the importance of proper operation of the pancreas and recommend what you can positively affect its health. In the human body, each organ has certain functions. The pancreas gets its name from its location because it is located behind the stomach, filling the space in the loop that is formed by the passage of the stomach into the duodenum. It is structured with a head, body, and tail, with a total length of about 20 centimeters and a weight of about 70 grams. The tissue of the gland is represented by two types of cells, some in their majority, somewhere around 95% produce digestive enzymes, and the other 5% synthesize hormones. What role is assigned to the pancreas in the body? This organ combines two seemingly completely different functions. This is participation in digestion, production of digestive enzymes, and endocrine activity, which determines the functioning of many organs and systems of the human body. To summarize, we can say that the pancreas is both an exocrine and an endocrine organ. Exocrine activity is the formation and secretion of enzymes into the duodenum. Enzymes are substances that break down food. They reduce it to such small fragments that they can enter the bloodstream and be transported to every cell. The pancreatic secretion consists of such components. Lipase, which acts on fat complexes. Lactase and amylase, which process carbohydrates. Trypsin, which breaks down proteins. The ratio of these active components varies depending on the quality of the food entering the stomach. Their formation begins as soon as the food enters the stomach. If a person has eaten a lot of fat, the concentration of lipase increases. When proteins predominate, trypsin increases. And when carbohydrate-containing meals predominate, amylase increases. In addition to the composition of the enzymatic juice, the same gland itself controls its quantity. Excess enzymes should not be allowed. It can lead to overdigestion of the gland tissue itself, which sometimes occurs in pathological conditions, inflammatory processes in the pancreas. Endocrine activity, the formation of hormones that affect the work of the entire body. They are synthesized by individual cells, which are located in small islets in the tissue of the gland. The formed hormones go directly into the bloodstream. Areas of accumulation of cells active in terms of endocrine activity are called islets of Langerhans. This is where the production takes place. Glucagon, which keeps blood glucose concentration stable. Insulin, which breaks down glucose, that is, a glucagon antagonist. Somatostatin, a hormone that regulates the formation of other hormones in the endocrine glands. Polypeptides, which are responsible for regulating the digestive organs and maintaining proper metabolism. When the pancreas works well, digestion is complete, necessary substances are absorbed into the blood and distributed throughout the body. The pancreas also controls the body by maintaining hormonal balance. What can cause the pancreas to malfunction? The pancreas affects the entire body. It works actively, helping to keep all systems working well, regulates digestion and hormonal consistency. However, it is quite vulnerable and when it is disturbed, it is difficult to restore full function. Such factors can negatively affect and lead to the development of inflammation, malfunctions, disturbances in the formation and release of both digestive enzymes and hormones. Improper nutrition, the use of foods that lead to a significant increase in the production of enzymes, which subsequently cannot be completely utilized in the intestine, but remaining in the gland, causing its digestion. Alcohol also leads to an increase in the secretion of pancreatic juice and, in addition, has a toxic effect on all the cells of the organ. Nicotine leads to deterioration of blood flow due to vasoconstriction and blood clotting, which makes it impossible for the gland to function properly. Genetic predisposition, hereditary factors, immune system disorders leading to autoimmune aggression, i.e. production of antibodies against pancreatic cells. 
Infectious diseases, inflammatory lesions of the digestive organs lead both to direct toxic effect of viruses and bacteria and to secondary damage of the organ, which often occurs against the background of cholelithiasis. Traumas of the abdomen, as a result of which the blood supply is disturbed, developing areas of ischemia in the tissue of the pancreas. Malignant formations in the abdomen, squeezing the ducts and preventing the outflow of the secretion. Metabolic disorders, the use of certain medications, surgical interventions, and diagnostic manipulations in the area of the liver, stomach, gallbladder. Psychotraumatic situations, frequent stress. Lack of physical activity, sedentary lifestyle. What are the symptoms of pancreatic disorders? Problems with the pancreas can occur acutely or can develop gradually. The most common pathological conditions are pancreatitis, that is, inflammation of the gland's tissue. As pancreatitis progresses, necrosis of the glandular tissue may develop, or in the chronic course, a tumor may appear. If the attack is acute, the person will have abdominal pain in the upper part of the abdomen of a band around the abdomen, i.e., radiating to the lower back and back, constant nausea, repeated vomiting of stomach contents and bringing no relief. Abdominal bloating, abdominal heaviness, diarrhea, but there may also be stool retention. In a long-term chronic course, pain is episodic, associated with ingestion of fatty, smoked foods, or alcohol. Nausea occurs in the morning, stools are irregular, and diarrhea alternates with constipation. Bad breath may occur. Skin becomes dry and hair becomes thin and brittle. If pancreonecrosis develops, the pain is intolerable, up to and including painful shock. Abdomen swollen, sharply painful. Vomiting uncontrollable. Dehydration, intoxication. Fever, chills. Pale skin, blue nasolabial triangle. Jaundice may occur against the background of pancreatic diseases, especially if there is a tumor. Enzymes such as amylase and lipase appear in excessive amount in blood. Glucose level increases. How to keep an organ functioning. It has been known since the time of Hippocrates that it is easier to prevent disease than to treat it later. Therefore, to maintain optimal performance of the pancreas, it is necessary to take care of it constantly. An active rhythm of life, proper nutrition, stress resistance, these are three factors of good health in general and a healthy pancreas in particular. To avoid problems, stop smoking and drinking alcohol. Take medications only as prescribed by doctors. Eat small portions five to six times during the day. Drink enough water, at least 1.5 liters. Exercise, do morning exercises, and go for walks. Be less nervous and be sure to get enough sleep. If an attack hits, it is important to calm the pancreas. There are three tips for this. Starvation to stop formation of enzymes. Cold on the left subcostal area to reduce swelling and inflammation. Under no circumstances heat, a heating pad on the abdomen is to progress the inflammation and worsen the condition. Rest so that there are no additional traumatic and irritating factors. Of course, in an acute attack you should immediately call an ambulance. You may need hospitalization. For chronic pancreatic problems, the most important point is diet. What should be permanently eliminated from the diet? Most severe attacks of acute pancreatitis with the development of sometimes irreparable consequences occur after holiday feasts. They are provoked by heavy digestion and alcohol. In order to protect your pancreas from shocks, it is necessary. Refrain from taking alcoholic beverages. Alcohol increases the intensity of the formation of digestive enzymes and at the same time affects the sphincter, which opens to release pancreatic secretion. Spasm of it leads to the fact that the active enzymes remain in the gland, causing its inflammation. In addition, alcohol has a toxic effect on the tissue cells of the gland, leads to poor blood supply to the organ, disrupts the release of bile, which exacerbates the existing changes in the pancreas and disrupts digestion. Do not consume trans fats, which are abundant in processed foods, sweets, fast food, factory-made sauces, and mayonnaise. Unhealthy fats cause the production of large amounts of digestive enzymes. This causes the secretion to become thicker, its outflow is disturbed, and the active substances begin to irritate the tissue of the gland itself first, and then digest it. 
Limit foods with a high glycemic index. The glycemic index is the effect of a product on the degree to which blood sugar levels rise. The higher it is, the higher the concentration of glucose in the blood plasma increases. Products with a high glycemic index include all refined products and products made from them. This includes bread, pastries, porridges, cookies, and so on. It also includes sugary drinks and starchy root vegetables, such as potatoes. To avoid bothering and straining the pancreas, you should stop eating fried foods and minimize the use of spicy and smoked foods. Are there foods that support pancreatic health? In order for your pancreas to work well, you need to use only foods and dishes that contain healthy fats. These are found in nuts, especially walnuts, ocean fish, cod liver, natural yogurt, avocados. Use foods with a low glycemic index. These are unsweetened fruits, vegetables that contain minimal amounts of starch, all leafy greens, beans, unrefined cereals, sprouted grains. Ensure full meals in the morning, afternoon, and evening. The caloric value of dinner should be less than that of breakfast and lunch. The last meal should be no later than two hours before going to bed. At night, the pancreas, as well as the entire digestive tract, should rest. Add spices such as basil and turmeric, cumin, saffron, and coriander to ready meals. They stimulate the secretion of hydrochloric acid in the stomach, the separation of bile, which helps to better digest food, and thus facilitates the work of the pancreas. During exacerbation of pancreatic problems and acute pancreatitis, the diet is even stricter. Creamy soups of cereals and vegetables, steamed cutlets of rabbit, turkey, or veal, steamed omelets, cottage cheese pudding, pureed low-fat cottage cheese with no fillers, boiled or stewed vegetables, finely chopped or made into cutlets, baked apples. It is necessary to stick to a strict diet until all symptoms have completely disappeared. Expand the diet gradually. The right diet, the key to a well-functioning pancreas. Only a dietary diet will help to prevent a new exacerbation and the development of complications if the problems have already appeared. The pancreas should be taken care of, however, like all other organs, and the right diet in this is very important, even one can say of great importance.